Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a cool toned eyeshadow makeup look. So if you'd like to see that then please just keep on watching. So as you can see I have a monster on my face and then my son scratched me right next to it. And I have lots of dry patches and my skin is honestly just not the best today. So we're going to start with the face just to hide this. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. And I'm just going to be putting this on the this bit here at the size of my nose. Because that is the only place that you can really see um, my pores. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer on the rest of my face and I have been really liking the this primer combo I wouldn't recommend this primer if you do have oily skin because it does feel quite oily on the skin so I'm going to try and cover this and I don't have any colour correctors so I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Design Define Concealer in the shade C1 and I'm just going to put some of that over the top and then I'm just going to dab it in to blend it out because I do want to keep the coverage there that's why I'm blending it out with my finger so that we can keep all of the coverage. As you can see, it has covered most of it. There is still just a little bit of redness peeking through, but it looks so much better than what it did. I think I'm going to put some on these little spots as well. I'd be as well just putting concealer all over my face. For foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation Stick and I have it in Natural Rose, which I'm pretty sure this is the lightest shade and it is not the lightest. And I'm just going to blend this in with a brush and I'm going to blend out my face first and then blend out the rest of my face my face no then I'm going to blend it down my neck so that everything matches and I'm just going to like stipple it over that spot so that it's not taking any of the concealer or foundation off of it it's just kind of like packing it on and I should have done it to this bit but I did just swipe it so it's covered that spot even more and I'm going to go back in with that Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and I'm just dotting a small amount of this under my eye. Try and make it straight. I don't like putting too much of this concealer on because when I smile I get like little creases here and if I've found that if I put too much of this concealer on, then it does make the creases a lot more noticeable. So I do just like going in with a little bit at a time. So I'm just bringing this product out to that red patch that we had just so that we're not putting the concealer on because it is a lot lighter than the foundation it will brighten that area but if we just use like if we just bring it out 
without there being a lot of product then it covers it without making it too bright i'm going to use the maybelline master fix loose setting powder and pretty sure this is just translucent and i'm just going to use this on a big fluffy brush and i'm just going to set my face To bronze up my skin, I'm going to use the Collection Contouring Highlight Kit and this is just what it looks like and this shade is far too warm to um, contour with so I am just going to bronze up my skin with it and I did do a review on these brushes, it was um, my last video. And I absolutely love this one to contour with. I'm going to go in with the Unicorn Heart Highlighter for Eye Heart from Hi Oh my god. From Eye Heart Makeup. And I'm just going to swirl my brush around in it. And just apply it. And I'm I know my contour's not blended out the best. But my skin is just a riot now, so I'm just going to need to deal with dodgy contouring for a couple of days until it goes back to normal. So George has just woke up and I went over to see if he was okay and he has scratched his face an absolute belter. <laughs> Didn't you me man? He's honestly so bad for scratching, aren't you? So I'm going to try and do my eyeshadow and everything quite quickly because George is awake and I can't put him in his jump through or on his play mat because it will be far too loud. So for eyeshadow I'm going to use the gold um, surprise egg and this is what it looks like inside. You get five eyeshadows and two highlights and I have done a review on this one the dragon egg which is the red one and the rose gold one so if you want to see my review on it then it will be a couple of videos back so I'm going to start off by using this shade in my crease and I'm just going to use it on my little Anastasia brush that came in the I was going to say in the kit that came with the modern oh my god that came with the modern renaissance palette So that's that shade in the crease and it's blended out really nicely. The only thing is this brush, it's quite jaggy. Like my eBay brushes are so much softer than this. So now I'm going to go in with this dark brownish shade and I'm going to use it on the other end of this brush and I'm just going to lightly add it to the outer corner and then blend it out with why blend it out with the fluffy side of the brush I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that shade just to deepen it up a little bit and I'm actually going to use the brush this time to put it into the crease. I'm going to take some of that shade on the fluffy side of the brush and I'm just going to blend it from the outer corner in so that when we put the shimmery shade on it will look more seamless because there isn't just a big line. For on the inner part and the middle part of the eyelid, I'm going to use this highlight shade and I'm just going to be applying that with flat brush. Maybe this won't go actually because of how cool toned it is. 
So that's what it looks like with that highlight shade on it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the collection contour and um, highlight kit and I'm going to use the highlight out of this and I'm going to put this on the inner corners just to try and brighten it up a little bit. Well, that didn't make a difference so I'm just going to use some of this on my inner corner and brow bone as always. So I just tried on that eye, I'm going to take one stroke of the yellow and one stroke of the purple from the unicorn highlight and I'm going to apply this to the inner corner because I don't wear cool toned eyeshadow that often but when I do I just feel like it makes my eyes look far too dark and I do just like to brighten up the inner part of the eye. For mascara I'm going to use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and I'm just going to use this on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes. I'm going to use my Rimmel Insta Fix and Glow Setting Glow Go Setting Spray. Last for lips, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade The One and this is only £1 and it's such a nice shade. It's not as creamy as the new ones but it is still, it's slightly creamy, it's not the most creamy lipstick but it is a really nice colour and it's only a pound. So I had to pick George up because he wasn't really happy just sitting playing with a his little toy, he wants to be in his jumper or on his playmat. So I did just need to pick him up. But this is the finished makeup look and I know it is very simple but when I wear a cool toned eyeshadow I do keep it very simple but because I feel like it can get like too dark too fast and then it just doesn't look right on my face. <laughs> is that right? Um, I just warm tones. I feel like warm tones suit um, my face and everything a lot better than what cool tone eyeshadows do. So I'm sorry for it being quite simple but if you don't like cool toned eyeshadow you could easily do this with uh, with warm toned eyeshadows. So this is it for this video and I hope you guys did enjoy and <laughs> did enjoy <laughs> did enjoy and me and George will see you in the next one, won't we? See, ta-ta, ta-ta. Bye, guys.